right guys, welcome back to the video. So something slightly different, well, majorly different to the channel today. So um, you've already seen a sneak peek, so it's gonna be a Sankey Overland trailer build. So uh, I was really interested by looking around this. It's obviously, because I've got two Sankeys in the workshop, so it's definitely something uh, that's given me ideas moving forward. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with mine yet, uh, but, Tim's going to show you exactly what he's done with his trailer, okay? He's like me, obviously, with my disco. Um, a lot of the things he's done himself, well, all of it he's done himself, um, and generally what he's done is he's done it exactly like me with things being like a prototype. So, like, basically, uh, he's going to do it, he's going to build it, he's going to test it, see what he likes, take that part away, and whatever he doesn't like, take that part away as well and not use it. So that's exactly what I'm doing on my disc at the moment, obviously. We're getting things ready on it. We're testing it when we're out there in the field, in the woods, whatever. And then, yeah, we're going from there, really. So yeah, this is a really good insight. So I've got another, obviously, Overland build uh, as a unit, but this is a trailer. So this is everything that somebody can tow on the normal license with a Sankey as well. Anybody can tow that trailer. So if it's a couple, instead of having a roof tent, you could have had a trailer, but yeah. See what you think about the video, guys. Honestly, I took some really good ideas away from it. Hopefully, you can too. It'll just show you what you can do with what you've got, okay? Let me know in the comments, guys. Obviously, stick a thumbs up if you do like the video, because like I said, it does help with the YouTube analytics and all that. But uh, leave me a comment. Just let me know as well. If you do like these videos, okay, walk arounds of, like I say, I've got one coming up as well, walk arounds of overland vehicles and things like that, then just let me know if you do like it because obviously I can plan a lot more. But what I like to do instead of me just blabbing on, I actually like them, they know their vehicle, okay, inside out, like I know mine. So I tend to basically, it's not really an interview or anything like that, it's literally just videoing all the way around a vehicle, a trailer, whatever it may be. Um, and yeah, them telling you exactly what they've done from A to B, um, how it all works. So yeah, what we'll do as well, I'll leave uh, Tim's all leave Tim's links. So he's on TikTok, he's on Instagram. So I will leave his links if you want to follow his build and his story and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. Leave that link in the description for you. Yeah. So I probably haven't covered everything in this video, um, but. I say, we'll be meeting up again. So if you really do like the video, leave, like I said, let, let me know. And if you want a little bit more detail, so the actual Wolf Land Rover, honestly, that was fantastic, absolutely great. Um, so there's probably like a video around that. It literally, it's just built for wading, it's simple. So yeah, if you want a separate video on that, then I'm sure Tim will be fine for me to do that. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, all these links are in the description below. Like okay, if you like it, thumbs up, comment, share it into a group if you think it's gonna help. All right, here we are with a, is it a Sankey trailer? This is Tim. Sankey, yep, it's a Mark II wide track. Yeah. Sankey, 1986. 1986. And do you wanna just run us through it? So I'm looking to do an overland build, trailer build myself. So I think uh, hopefully the viewers would like a bit of a look around if we can. So, what did you start with, and, and how did you how did you get to this point, really? So we start with a, a basic Sankey shell, the tub and the, the trailer. I cleaned out the inside and made sure everything was was spotless, not sp spotless like uh, hygienically clean, but you yeah, know, yeah. Clean. Uh, then I measured out a frame. Um, kind, of, I kind of knew that I wanted to be above the wheel arches inside, so that I could lie down and have a, a bed inside. So yeah. what I did was uh, I measured the level of wheel arches and then measured from that level up and made sure that I could sit up on top of a mattress mm -hmm. and my head wouldn't touch the, the roof. Yeah. That was my level then. Um, so that's about 750 mil from up to that. From up yeah. to the top. So then I built a, a extruded aluminium frame. Americans call it um, 80-20, we call it 20-20. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. Built a frame, filled in the frame with uh, plywood that's been sealed with um, epoxy resin so that it's watertight. Mm -hmm. um, if you do get a knock though, it does break the seal and you do get bumps. So I recently had a bunch of kids throw glass bottles at the side of the trailer on the ah. drive. Uh, you can see there's marks here. Oh, about yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It started to bubble through. So where they've hit the side, yeah. I needed to, uh, I've got to sand it back and reapply the, yeah. Yeah. the uh, sealant. So once I got mm. the frame on, put the, the roof on, put the sides on, it was how do I want to design the inside. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of trailers where 
you have a hatch on the side and you can get in the back yeah uh, and you, you have a kitchen on the back i didn't want to do that because i still wanted to keep the tub because this will bolt off and lift off if i want it to right and i can turn it back into a trailer okay yeah the plan actually is to buy a penman in the future and yep. potentially move some of this across to a penman which has got a stronger yeah um stronger tub stronger frame it's just better built mm -hmm. um so i knew i wanted to be a double bed so it was fit a double bed in which side do i want it to go on and then once i got the double bed in it was what am i going to do with with that other side now i could just um I decided that I wanted to take my daughter with me. She's seven at yep. the moment. So I thought I need to get a lot of storage for yeah. all the little girl stuff. Yeah. So I made the entire left side storage. There's a shelf there and a shelf here. Yeah. So this is all storage. The top's all, all quick access storage so you can throw stuff in. Yeah. Um, it's just oh, yeah. at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Just when you get in, take your t-shirt off, stuff, just stick it in the top. So it's out of the way. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. This cabinet is the electrical cabinet. So okay, yeah. we've got the solar that comes in as 150 watt solar panel, tiltable solar panel on the roof. Oh yeah. Um, so you can tilt that, it's on a frame. Uh, comes in, yep. hits, a, hits a, uh, a Victron. Oh yeah, yeah, I've got, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Solar charger. I've got the, the battery positive and negative I brought from the underside here. So I brought okay. the battery up here so that I don't have to keep going in and out from down there. Yep. I've only got a 60 amp hour battery. So she's only right, a small okay, battery. Okay. She'll run the trailer for five days if I'm not doing anything stupid in the summer. Makes sense. In yeah. the winter, it cuts it to two or three days because yeah. of the diesel heater. The diesel heater sucks a, a quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Which, yeah, that's what's that's running now. That's what's on there. I'll take it. It's yeah. So Saturday. yeah. So this is a, an, an AI LI uh, battery monitor from mm -hmm. Amazon. Um, so I can see the percentage of the battery that's in there. Yeah. Um, I can also see what I'm drawing. I can see how that's many amp good. hours I've got left yeah. and what voltage I've got. So uh, she's a 60, 60 amp hour battery. You can see I've got 51.4 amp hours. That left. is good. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, and Excuse your diesel. The fingers, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> that's diesel eater there. Yep. Yeah. So if you want your diesel eater on, it's just there. Yeah. Simple as that. And I've got the Bluetooth dongle that I carry up into the back when I'm in there so I can so do it. Moving yeah. around. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. squatting down to do it. <clears throat> yep. And um, what's that down the bottom? Is it carbon monoxide alarm? Yeah, yep. carbon monoxide alarm. That's the intake for the diesel heater. Okay. The outtake is oh, the vent zone. Up in the, the top there. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Um, and then I've got a switch panel, which has got two switches on at the moment. The spotlight is the light on the side on table. The we'll take a look in a minute. And yep. the blower there is um, up here. I've got an exhaust fan. Ah, okay, yeah. So that it keeps the air moving inside uh, and okay. cuts down on the moisture. So if, you've, if you're in a sealed yes. environment, I've got a lot of metal bolts and stuff that come through, yeah. most of it's carpeted. In the night, I found that there was condensation on these. They weren't dripping, but there was enough on there for me to go. Uh, need to do something I about it. Something yeah, about it. yeah. So, um, I need to tidy up, obviously. This is just a test, so yeah. just throw yeah. All of this trailer at the moment is a version one. The prototype, same yeah. as mine. <laughs> That's it, yeah. So Get I'm, your do's and your don'ts, and then uh, you can work off that, can't you? Yeah. So, so this is um, so this is a direct to the battery connection for quick charging. So I've got an Anderson plug connected, so I can plug in my battery charger. Yeah, that's for obviously if I need to get battery in it quick. Yeah. Then yep. this here on the side. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is a magnetic um, connection that it only and it's a switch as well, so it only, it's only activated when the two come together. Right. Okay. But I've got a box on the house. It's got a, a, a Noco one amp. Trickle charger. Oh, trickle. Yeah. So just stick it on there. And, That's a great uh, idea. Yeah. The idea is if I pull off the drive without disconnecting it, it, it pops just off. pops off. Yeah. That no, that is a that is honestly that is a cracking idea. That I really do like that because knowing me, I would drive off <laughs> and totally forget about it. Totally forget about it. yeah, fantastic. Got a little step there as well. Yeah, that's for my daughter. So <clears> step <throat> and handle is for my daughter. So yeah. She can get up and get in. Yeah. Um. Obviously, fantastic. I use the Sankey legs to stabilize the back. Yeah. And you just use it all year round. All year round, yeah, yeah. I made it in, in um, sort of February kind of time. Yeah. And I mean, I've done about 2,000 miles towing it so far. Fantastic. Um, Toes all right? She's beautifully, mate. She's yeah. Toes, yeah. she's there. I was going to say, yeah. Um, I suppose a bit more weight on it as well sort of thing. So, yeah. yeah. Do you know how much roughly it weighs, so, give or take? So I've put just under 300 kilos on, so she's about 900. No, kilos, okay. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, she will tow, will tow much better, won't it? Yeah. yeah. Always tows better with a bit of weight on, definitely. Fantastic. Ah, right. Let's move around to the outside then. Yeah. So, so you've got your outside space. I will work my way from the top down. Yep. Yeah. So I've got an aluminium angle bolted to the side of the of the truck. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the trailer, sorry. That goes through into a 12 by 12 pole bag from the yeah. military. 
which has got straps inside and outside. So what you can what you can do is you can pull this down. Yep. These are the straps inside, so you you ah, roll okay, all yep, up. Yep. These strap up and hold it up. Yep. And then this comes up, and then you've and then you've got some more as well. Yeah, yeah. Hold it up there. Um, Fantastic. So it's bolted through. You can see I've got M12 bolts that come through. Yeah. And then on the end of the M12 bolts, there's a steering shaft UJ. Ah, uh, yeah. And the steering yep. shaft UJ bolts into the yep. um, arms. I'm calling. So yes. Legs, there are no. Arms, yeah. 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 Arms that come out. So the awning yeah. arms are telescopic. They come out into a. They're nice and sturdy as well, aren't they? Actually, very sturdy. Yeah. They come out into a, a one-inch box section of alley yep. on the end that holds the. Obviously, we've got the arms that go in, yeah. the legs that go on, and it keeps the and canvas nice yeah. and tight. Yeah. No. It does the job, doesn't it? That. Perfect. Down here we've got a drop-down table, so that stuff's up there, and the reason for that is because there's a light underneath, yep. so that lights up the workspace. I've got a drop-down table, so steel um, angle bar on the, yes. on the trailer yep. that's just bolted through. Yep. Then I've got, um, this is just a sheet of perforated aluminium, so um, as you can see, things drip and I make mess. It just goes straight through and onto the yeah. floor. It doesn't yeah. doesn't drip onto me anywhere. No, no. Um, makes it nice and easy. I was using it for a drying board earlier when I was, did the washing up. Yeah. Um, it just folds up, and what yeah. you do is you just um, drop the bolt in. Yeah. And then on this side, you just drop the bolt drop in. Drop the bolt in, and she's nice away. and sturdy, and ready to go. Yeah. That's. I think that's what it's all about, and it quick quick pull up, set up. And then pack away as well, if it, you know what I mean. Because sometimes you can spend far too much time setting up and packing up. So I think that's a cracking idea. Just literally fold down straight off I mean, the side. It's not a pull out awning like your, your your quick deploy awnings that you get. So yeah, it yeah. It takes a couple of minutes to get out, like yeah. three to five minutes to get the awnings up. I don't think that's a bad thing. But still, in three in three, in three minutes, you're not going to get that wet, are you? Sort of thing. So, but uh, yeah, fantastic. Got a jerry can on the front. That's the diesel here. Yeah. For the, for, that's ready, already plugged in for your yeah, diesel. Yeah. Ah, fantastic. You can see the fuel filter going through. Ah, yeah, and yeah. And you can see I've suspended the fuel pump. Yeah. So that it doesn't Ah, tip. yeah. Exhaust there, yeah. Fantastic. Cracking little build, mate. It really is. It's uh, <coughs> definitely give me some ideas. <laughs> So there we go guys, we did get cut a little bit short on the video uh, due to something starting to chop logs but we was in the woods and that's, that's those things that just happened. So hopefully you just got a general gist of um, the trailer build itself um, and like I said I was, I was really impressed with what he's put in there in a, such a small space as well. It's not been extended like the normal overland build, trailer build. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really impressive and like I say, I've took loads of ideas away from it. Um, probably get another one in six months time when he's done a few more bits and obviously probably get a little bit more detail uh, for you guys as well. Hope you liked the video. Um, like I said, stick the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment as well. Make sure you let me, let me know what you think of the video. Um, and if you like the trailer, like I say, I'll leave all Tim's links in the description as well. So go check him out and uh, follow his progress. We're actually going away this weekend as well. So that will be interesting. We're going to North Wales. Uh, it is meant to be cold. So this week I'm currently recording to put the diesel heater. Uh, it might be temporary area, in a temporary area. We'll have to wait and see. So I'm just videoing all that as well. So things like that is coming up. Obviously we'll have a video for the weekend a lot of people meeting up, uh, Timeless Overland is running, it's going to be bonfire, uh, fireworks, barbecues, beer, fantastic. So yeah, looking forward to that. So there's going to be some footage of that coming as well.